Hey guys, how's it going? It's 7demo7 7 and um, it's taking a bit of a break off of doing videos for the holiday season, but I'm kind of getting back into it. But I thought I would show you guys what's coming up on my channel. Now, if you guys follow me on Facebook, a lot of you guys will know uh, some of the things that are going on on my channel. There are some new things here, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so as, as you guys see, I've got a couple planes on the table. I also have some parts that have come in from Gearbest and Runcam, so let me just go over those things real quick. This is called the Hobby King Prime Jet Pro, and I'm almost done building this. I just have to glue on the top and the bottom sheets on here, but this basically is called a glue and go, all flat uh, foam board-ish type of uh, material, except it's got kind of a plastic coating on the outside so it makes it quite durable. They have uh, several spars in here, basically I'm going to be putting a red bottom Emax motor, uh, 2300 kV motor, and a mini quad prop because this is extremely light. But it looks great and I can't wait to get this thing in the air. I'll be doing a full review on this coming up uh, pretty soon. Uh, I know a lot of you guys will recognize this if you've been with my channel for a long time. This is the very first legit wing that came out and it normally took these 2450 uh, size batteries, but you also had to add some lead in the front to get this wing to balance, which you do with most wings. Um, so I decided to go with the more modern uh, 4S 3300 uh, KV uh, battery pack. And I just flew this this morning, it flies great and you get really, really long run times. And another thing from Team Legit is called the Team Legit Wombat. Now this is a pre-production version, this is going to be going out on their site pretty soon. So how should we describe this guys? It's a bank and yank uh, airplane, it's going to have ailerons here, it's going to have two vertical fins here that have no rudder and also an elevator back here. Now these um, booms here have not been cut to size, they will be a lot shorter than what you see here. But it, um, it goes together very, very nice. I've placed in the top spar here and I need to place the bottom spar. But if you guys look at the wing profile, it's pretty much flat on the top with a minor bit of dihedral on the bottom, which is uh, a very interesting uh, way of building wings. Uh, this is the same type of uh, wing style that is on my legit wing 40. Okay, so some of you guys might have noticed something behind me, which is a big screen TV. Now, what the story is behind this is that um, I always wanted to get a TV in here. And this is the only available wall in my office that number one will support the weight of the TV and also uh, that is open enough for me to put something on. So it's not really in addition to my channel, although I have uh, one of my videos um, uh, up back here. The short end of the story is I have a friend of mine who is a TV installer who gets free TVs all the time. When someone buys something new, they just take it down and say get rid of it. So I was the lucky recipient of this one. This one has a minor flaw in it, which is right on the edge, which is fine for my man cave. So. Uh, and luckily I have, um, I had an old Apple TV unit which is right up here at the top and I'm able to stream my videos from my phone to the television and uh, also watch Netflix while I'm working in my office so that's pretty cool. Uh, I bought these speakers from Goodwill, they were Sony speakers for $10 a piece and the, uh, the, this is a very very old TV, it has power going to those speakers and it blows my lab away so I'm going to be rocking while I'm working so that, that's pretty cool. So. Thanks for noticing that. We have a lot of stuff back here. Let me just grab these first two things here. Um, this is something that hasn't come out yet. This is the Runcam 2 with a new lens on it. We're taking the field of view from about 135, 145 degrees to 170 degrees of uh, field of view. This is something I've wanted for a long time and I love the run cams, as you guys know. Um, I've done some preliminary uh, testing with this. Like I said, I'm getting up to about 170 degrees, and if you guys follow my Facebook channel, you will have seen some of uh, the results of this prematurely. So, Now this is something that I'm extremely excited about, which is the new Runcam Swift. Uh, there's a couple of improvements to this. I probably won't be able to remember all of them off the top of my head. One of the biggest things is this Runcam Swift has a new OSD built into it, which is what a lot of cameras have gone to. One complaint with the run cams has been the length of the lens. If it's sticking out farther, it's more likely to get damaged. So they really address that this lens is much, much shorter than I'm used to. So I can't wait to get this on my bench, test it out. This should be the best and newest run cam Swift out on the market. Can't wait to try this out. Now remember guys, I'm going to have links to all these products in the description below. Okay guys, this is the MakerFire FPV Pro. This is a new Tiny Whoop style quadcopter. It comes like this in a nice protective box and it has room for your extra lipos when you do buy them. It does come with a 200 milliamp Crazy Pony 35C uh, battery pack. Uh, one of the notable, couple notable features here is that it has this canopy which integrates in a camera holder. So you can actually remove this and remove the camera because it does have a separate plug on it. So look forward to a full review on this coming up on my channel pretty soon. Uh, along with this, I went ahead and bought some Turnigy 
Nanotech 200 milliamp uh, battery packs. These are 35 to 70 C. I have flown these batteries in this quad. They are lighter weight than the stock battery, so I um, look forward to some testing on these as well. All right, again from GearBass.com is the CX177. Okay, guys, uh, when you open the box here, you're going to see these very interesting looking tri bladed uh, propellers from Tiersen blue, red, a charger, some very, very wide, thick motors. Um, this looks like the flight control board. So this is mainly a, a kit. Here's your motor holders. This is a very big 600 milliamp, uh, 7.4 volt uh, battery pack. Comes with a uh, FX798T micro video transmitter. Some rubber bands and standoffs. And let's take a look at this. Uh, this is the carbon frame for this Cheerson 117. So I will be building this up. I believe that, I don't know what type of a board it is, if it binds up to a DSMX uh, Spectrum style or a um, Tyrannus. So I uh, look forward to this in my channel. Let me put all this back. All right, guys, this is a Tiny Whoop style quadcopter from Furry Bee. Furry Bee is a new product line from GearBest that you should look out for. Um, this quadcopter is really, really nice. Has a bit more power than uh, standard toy quadcopters just like this. I've flown this thing around and it flies really, really well for a toy quadcopter. So look forward to this on my channel coming up pretty soon. And also from Furry Bee is the Furry Bee VR01. These are some FPV goggles, so you guys can see that right there. Okay guys, so these are the Furry B VR01. It has dual antennas, 4.3 inch uh, video screen, and 5.8 gigahertz of course, and 40 channels. Uh, so let me just take these out of the box, it's the first time I've taken a look at them. Looks like we have two different antennas for this. It has a patch antenna and also a mushroom antenna. Uh, comfort feels pretty good. You would not be able to get your eyeglasses in here. Luckily, I'm nearsighted, so I can, I can actually focus without my eyeglasses on. It allows people to get into the FPV hobby without a huge price tag. Now, one other thing I'm noticing here is that there's a speaker here, so it looks like we'll be able to transmit sound on these as well. So, one last thing that, they, that GearBest sent me was just looks like an additional uh, Furry B. Uh, antenna. So Furry B looks like it's going to be one of their um, brands that they're going to be doing some some branding with. Keep an eye out for the Furry B items. This looks exactly like an Emergent RC uh, antenna. If I were to pop this open, I would guess that it would look exactly like that as well. All right, off quickly to a few other things. Um, uh, if you guys will remember my Slash, um, this truck is amazing. Um, this is only two-wheel drive and it is brushed. I would like to upgrade it to brushless coming up in the future. I've put a battery into here and basically haven't done anything else to it. So this is just a fun car all the way around. If you guys have kids, this you really don't have to worry about too much. All right, anything else? All right, guys, if you guys will remember the contest I had for my 5,000 subscribers, I still haven't given away all those prizes, so I think Every month now, I'm going to be giving away some prizes. And the reason I haven't done it all at one time is because I basically I have two jobs and a family and a YouTube channel to to manage. So that's a lot of work to get all that all the people's names and addresses and send everything out. So you guys will see those things coming up on my channel. The next uh, batch of things are going to be from Hobby King. As you guys, if you guys will remember, a lot of stuff came from Hobby King. So uh, um, look forward to that coming up as well. So. Uh, I meant for this to be a kind of a quick overview video and it's kind of ballooned into this video so I apologize. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. There's a lot more stuff coming up on my, on my channel. I'm going to film a, a video quickly on my Mission D drift car which I love and I hate and I love and I hate. So um, anyway guys, this is right before the new year. Hopefully you guys have a great new year and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.